Ever wondered how a simple squiggly line on a screen can unlock the secrets of the human brain? Well, welcome to the fascinating world of EEG signals, a realm where brain activity is translated into waveforms, each squiggle telling a story of neurons communicating. These signals come about when the brain's neurons send electrical messages to each other. This electrical activity is captured by electrodes placed on the scalp, creating the waveforms we see on the screen. Interpreting these waveforms, however, is not as simple as it might seem. This is where spectral density and peak frequency come into play. Spectral density, in essence, gives us a way to understand the power of these signals across different frequencies, while peak frequency pinpoints the frequency at which this power is the greatest. Together, these concepts help us decipher the language of the brain, told through the medium of EEG signals. Now let's dive deeper into these concepts to uncover their significance. Imagine you're listening to a symphony. Each instrument plays a different note, right? In EEG, spectral density is like identifying each instrument in that symphony. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Spectral density, in the context of EEG, is a measure that helps us understand the different notes or frequencies that are present in the brain's electrical activity. It's a bit like breaking down that symphony, separating out each instrument's distinctive sound. Picture it this way. The brain is like an orchestra with each neuron playing its own tune. When we look at an EEG, we're hearing the whole concert. But what if we want to understand which instruments or neurons are playing the loudest or at what frequency they're playing? That's where spectral density comes in, giving us a comprehensive breakdown of the frequencies present in the EEG signal. So, spectral density gives us a breakdown of the frequencies, but how do we determine the most dominant one? That's where peak frequency comes into play. Back to our symphony analogy, peak frequency would be like identifying the loudest instrument, the one that stands out the most. In the realm of electroencephalography, or EEG, peak frequency represents the most dominant frequency in a signal. It's like picking out the violin's note amidst the orchestra's harmony. You see, when a brain area is active, its neurons fire together, creating a dominant rhythm, or peak frequency. This rhythm can change depending on what the brain is doing. For instance, a relaxed brain might show a different peak frequency compared to a brain-solving complex calculus. Identifying this dominant frequency is vital as it allows us to understand the brain's activity at any given moment. It's like knowing which instrument is playing the lead in our symphony. This knowledge can help detect anomalies such as seizures or even aid in diagnosing mental health conditions. So, by understanding spectral density and peak frequency, we can better interpret EEG signals and gain a deeper insight into brain activity.